I wanted to give a very brief overview of how I create a sculpt for an STL. I start out with a cube, and I add a subdivision surface modifier, and start extruding faces to get the basic shape I want. From there I start using loop cuts and moving points around. I have a mirror modifier on so both sides match. I continue adding loop cuts till I get the shape I like. From here I'm going to add another cube. This one's for the legs, and I mirror this over to the other side. I add loop cuts and extrude faces just like I did with the body. I did the same thing for the arms. Then I start adding cubes for the tongue, and well, I do the same thing again. This entire Pokemon is made out of cubes only. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the body, and use edit mode to select a loop around the face, which will make the white area. I'll rip the verts of that area and separate it by using loose parts to get that face slash mask. I'll then use a solidify modifier on it to give it a little bit of depth. I'll do the same thing for both that spot on the chest and on the tail. From here I'll add more cubes for the toes, and do the loop cut and extrude trick again. From here I'll start out with a cube for the eyes, and do the subsurface thing again. Now I'll add a cube for the nostril, and merge one side to make it into like a triangular cube. I'll boolean this out of the face. But before I boolean out the eyes, I'm going to go into sculpt mode, and using the snake hook tool, I'm going to adjust the shape of the face slash mask. I'm going to go ahead and add another cube now for that shape on top of his head. And I'll add a lot of loop cuts here, and then use proportional edit to change the, weight, the shape of it. Now for the line on his belly. I'll go into the loop cuts, and I'll add loop cuts where I need them for the line itself. I'll select those cuts, and then I'll shrink them in, which will give it a nice indented look. I know this has gone by a bit quick, and I want to thank you for watching it, but I really wanted just a basic overview of how I create a sculpt for a 3D print. This file is going to be available on my Patreon. Link below. We also have a lot of other great files there too. I hope to see you around. Thanks for watching.